No. Look at the screen. There's something there. Yep. while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your BP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. A little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this empty chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two EP, and so will they. And we'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally. But your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose 2 BP. And they get 3. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me at school and stole them with some tires. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. This time, you're the one who gets three BB, and they're the one who loses two. We call that the serves them right outcome. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice. And there's nothing for you to feel guilty about! And finally, the very last scenario! This is when you choose betray. If that happens, neither of you get to lose the Absolutely zero chance. Boring! We call 
this the why even bother outcome. As the game master here, this is the situation I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? No, let me explain. <laughs> Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here, too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay then, I think that about does it for the basic rules. Actually, there's a little bit more, but it'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time! No, I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time! One minute remains until Ambidex Game Holy closes. We don't have time to talk about this. Rock, paper, scissors. We have to decide who's gonna press the button. Just shut up and do it. One, two, three. Paper. Damn it. So what are you gonna pick? We're playing against Ten Miyoji. Do you have any reason to think he won't betray you? Yeah. If he does, what does that make our BP? And when will we do that? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, you won. The decision's yours. Now decide. Ally or betray. Three, two, one. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. So you chose Ally, huh? Not complaining. I just think you're being a little soft-hearted. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have any facts, just misguided optimism. Yo, what's up? Siggy! you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Fine. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Fine. Let's get ready to rock! Round one! The results! 
If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Sigma. Phi. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I said I was sorry. See, I told you. A soft heart is the easiest to break. Do you understand what kind of game this is now? Are you serious? Someone's dead, and not just dead, murdered. I got no reason to think that murderer wasn't one of you. Only an idiot trusts someone he's never met when there's a killer on the loose. You think I had a choice? Right. I think that's enough for me. I'm old, and I'm tired. So tired. Hey, what the hell is this? Hey, look, lady, I, I was gonna choose ally, I swear to God. But just as I'm about to do it, this little bastard runs in and hits the betray button. What? Oh, come on. Really gonna just try and play it dumb, huh? You're a manipulative little twerp, aren't you? Quark, is he telling the truth? Were... Were you the one who chose Betray? No! I didn't do anything! I didn't have a chance to do anything before Mr. Dio pressed the button! I'm telling the truth! I promise! Sure, kid. Whatever. The cute and innocent act isn't gonna work. Just wait. Man, this is all your fault, Quark. My fault? Why are you blaming me? How could you do that, Mr. Dio? You're a jerk. We aren't trying to blame you. Just think about it. Wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? Forget it. I understand now. It would be silly of me to trust you guys. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you see, if there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right, there will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right you are. So, let me just close them. The Ambidex Gates have closed. Round 2 of the Ambidex Game will be the Moon Round. Moon Cards will be required to open the gates. Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to look for guards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. 
So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number 9 door, the game goes on! Of course, you could also get stuck just below 9 BP, where everybody just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and it losing points. After all, if there's nobody with 9 BP, the door can't open. You'll just have to continue on to round three, and round four, and round five, round 100, round 2000, you might even... All the way up to around 24 million, 9 million, 4,897. Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. I don't know. Can you? Yeah? So? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing you'll see. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? Maybe it's not 100% true. Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two rooms. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So... It's scanning the bracelets, then? Ding, ding, ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! <laughs> oh, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well... There's two ways. The first is to get through the number 9 door in a scan. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bill. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. Here's an exciting fact! 
Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 when someone dies on a TV show. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. Ha <laughs> ha! Oops! I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be a lass or Siggy. Or Fido. Or maybe Moni. Or maybe everyone. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is! <laughs> Correct, Siggy. Full marks. I get it. Sigma, Phi, Alice, and I only have one BP. If any of us chose Ally and got betrayed, our BP would drop below zero. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? <laughs> Mine's magenta, too. Me, too. Hey, wait. It wasn't just the color that changed. I'm a solo now. I'm a yellow pair now. I am yellow as well, but it seems I'm still a pair. Then who's the yellow solo? Me. Still a solo. 
Looks like I'm Cyan. I'm a Cyan pear. Aren't you one too? Yeah, says pear and the color Cyan. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. And of course, it's <laughs> totally random. No rules or anything. Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. Did you really think I was gonna cry? Suckers! As if I'd cry over you dummies! <laughs> you mad? Oh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Have a nice tragedy. piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. Um, what happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? Thank <laughs> you.